Hey YouTube, and welcome back to part two of this Breakpoint Booster Box opening. If you haven't seen it already, you definitely want to go check out part one. Got some incredible pulls in that half, above average pulls actually. Um, but yeah, my luck so far with this set has been very, very good. We will go ahead and open up the second of 36 packs in this video. So let's go ahead and get started here. And as I said, definitely want to check out part one. Um, but in terms of this booster box as a whole, cards that I'm really hoping for the most are any of the Scizor EX and Mega Scizor EX cards. Um, Ho-Oh EX Full Art. Those are probably the ones I want the absolute most. Um, as well as any of the Gyarados cards. Pretty much every... Pretty much every rare, ultra rare, secret rare in this set is freaking sweet. So, our first reverse holo is a common Pharisee, and the first rare is another Lilligant. First duplicate of the box. Um, this pack was actually stuck in the box after I pulled all the other packs out, so that would have been the last pack open total. So, not that that really means anything, but it is what it is. I am destroying this pack. There we go. We begin this pack with a Pokemon Catcher, a Durant, an Electivire, which I am still surprised is just an uncommon card. We have a Score Rupee, Staryu. Reverse Hollow is a Growlithe, and the rare is another Hypno. So back to back duplicate rare so far, not a big deal. I don't know how many non holo rares there even are in this set. Or how many I haven't already pulled. And in a box like this, you are bound to get duplicates. All I can ask is that the duplicates don't come in a foil, um, foil version of a card. I always want to get, you know, 12 unique foils. We have a Cloister, unless it's a secret rare, and then I'll, I'll take two of them. We have a Chikorita, Corsola. We have a Furfru, Pharaoh Seed, Trubbish, Reverse Hollow is a Shelter, and the rare is another Shiftery. Huh. Three in a row for um, repeat rares. But yeah, let's just get the non foils out of the way early, right? And then the end can just be this epic, epic streak of foils and EXs. It'll be great. Well, yeah, let's keep it up. Here we have a Reverse Valley. A great Ball, Heatmore, Temple, Shelter, Hone Edge, Numel. We have an Esper. Reverse Hollow is a Bursting Balloon. I honestly don't know if I've seen this card yet. And the rare is a Seismitoad. So, yep, we're keeping that streak alive here. But it will end in due time. Have faith there. Here we have another Bursting Balloon, a Puzzle of Time, Stantler, Petalil, Score Rupee, Staryu, Gibble, Seedot, Reverse Hollow is an All Night Party, and the Rare is an Embor EX. Not one of my favorite EXs in the set, but it is nice to finally break that pattern and manage to pull an EX card nonetheless. Kind of perplexed by the choice of having Embor EX. I know it was featured in a kind of dual deck and Japanese version was thrown into Breakpoint. Um, regardless, it is a nice EX nonetheless. I'm still hoping, of course, for the ho os and the Scizors. Haven't seen any of those, and the Gyarados even. Getting kind of the one-off EXs here and there, but that's quite all right with me. I like them all. Here we have a Delinquent, a Gabite, Slowpoke, Shinx, Spritzy, Glammeow, Ducklet. First Hollow is another Glammeow, and the rare is a Meowstic. So back to duplicate non hollow rares. So far, Part 1 has obviously been a much stronger half. Here we have a Tierno, a Dublade, Durant, 
Hone Edge, Numel, Esper, Growlithe, Pancham. We have a Reverse Hollow Spritzy, which is a common, and the rare is a Meganium Foil. Very nice. This is one of the hollows that I really wanted the most. I feel like Meganium is probably the most underrated starter of all time. Love me some dinosaurs. I hope you guys have been enjoying Breakpoint as much as I have. I think this set has a lot of potential. Lots of really, really cool cards in here. So feel free to leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite card in the set is. And you can base it on artwork, if it's your favorite Pokemon, how useful it will be in the game, any of those. To your list. The Reverse Hollow is a Bayleaf and the Rare is a Luxray. So far, only two foils, so not the best start to this half, but like I said, let's get these non-hollows out of the way now, and we can go on a big streak at the end, that will be cool. We have a Frogadier, Slowbro, Aromatisse, Spritzy, Glamio, Ducklet, Temple. We have a Shelter, Reverse Hollow is a rare, it is a Camera Upped. Here's a non-hollow rare that I have yet to pull, so that is nice, and then the rare is another Ferrothorn. But the reverse hollow made it worth it. Two rares in a pack is always nice. Is camera up to hollow in this set? I'll have to double check that, but I have not pulled a camera up to, up to this point. Camera up's one of my favorite Ruby and Sapphire Pokemon. Um, still kind of confused as to why they made camera up and Sharpedo EX, but didn't give us the Megas. Because I feel like now they're just going to have to make camera up and Sharpedo EXs again. <laughs> Which I won't complain. I like both of those a lot. I think Sharpedo is a very cool concept. Camera Up's very awesome as well. So the Reverse Hollow here is a Drowsy, which is a common, and the Rare is a Golduck. This is my third Golduck total, but it is the first of this box. So, not technically a duplicate. I'd say we're already to the halfway point or more of this box, and not such a strong half. But you know, we could get three in a row of foils and completely make up our ground. Here we have a Nuzleaf, Pokemon Catcher, Splash Energy, Blitzel, Staryu, Electabuzz, Ferroseed. We have a Froakie. Reverse Hollow is a Purugly, which is surprisingly just an uncommon card. And the rare is a Garchomp Hollow. We did pull this in Reverse Hollow form, but we did not get the Hollow version. So very nice card right there. Seems like this card might be very playable. Um, you know, if it's an EX Pokemon... For just two fighting energy, you're going to do 160 damage. Could be very, very useful. Alright, so we have one, two, three... We have seven packs to go. Hopefully we manage to get a few more foils here. Hate to have all the momentum from the first half go to waste. Love to at least get one of the Scizor cards here. Wouldn't complain if I managed the Ho-Oh. EXs as well. We have a Bursting Balloon, Luxio, RK9, Psyduck, Phantom, Glamio, Gibble, Chikorita, Reverse Hollow is a Nuzleaf, and the rare is a Drapion. Overall, these packs have been opening pretty nicely. And then, as I say that, this one tears. We begin with a Pur Ugly, Great Ball, Delinquent, Skrelp, Hone Edge, Ducklet, Shinx, Numel, Reverse Hollow is another Shinx, which is a common card, and the rare is a Camera Up. So, yep, it was a non hollow. It was one we had not pulled up until that point. It's the only Reverse Hollow rare of this half of the box so far. We begin with an Aromatisse, Groudon, or Gyarados Spirit Link, Professor Sycamore, Cricketot, Shelter, Drowsy, Slowpoke, Clefairy. Oh, nice! That came out of nowhere. I love that about the break cards. We have a Trevenant Break. Very nice. And the rare behind it, oh, is a non-hollow we don't have. It is a Pangoro. 
Very, very nice. Like I said, Greninja is the break I want the most, but Trevenant is right up there. All of the, the break cards this time are looking very nice. Very, very cool card right there. Down to the last four packs, hoping to get at least one more foil. So we did manage seven in the first half, so hopefully we get at least one more here. And here we have a Psychic's Third Eye, an Electivire, a Bayleaf, Glamio, Gibble, Chikorita, Temple, Spritzy. Reverse Hollow is a Hone Edge, which is a common, and the rare is a Darkrai EX. So yeah, guys, like I was kind of, you know, predicting sarcastically, we are kind of on a run here, back to back. Very nice. Seems like this card's going to be pretty playable, too. And uh, Darkrai, I think, is one that I don't give a lot of love to, just because I've never really had one to use. Um, it's a very cool-looking Pokemon, and that's a very cool-looking card. All right, this pack is opening very poorly. Hopefully something good inside. And I managed to salvage it. There we go. All right, so we begin with a Mawile, Nuzleaf, Puzzle of Time, Ferroseed, Trubbish, Electabuzz, Froakie, Rattata. We have a Reverse Hollow Rare. It is a Lilligant, and the actual Rare is another Hollow. Wow. So this is an above average box already. Very nice there. It is a Dragalge Hollow. Like that Garchomp, we did manage to pull this in reverse hollow form, but I love having the actual hollow versions of cards. So down to two packs. If they aren't considering Treven like the break cards foils, we may have another, guys. I'm not going to get it. Too upset if we don't, because I do consider... I mean, those are clearly foils, but who knows? Only one way to find out. So here we have a Palpitoad, Luxio, Dunsparce, Drowsy, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Psyduck, Phantump. Reverse Hollow is a Great Ball, which is an uncommon card, and the rare is a Zebstrika. All right, down to the last pack. Hopefully we can get a Scizor or a Ho-Oh or something, but overall... Very pleased with this box. Especially part one. <laughs> so yeah, it, you know, hint, hint. Be sure to check out part one. Alright, last pack here. Begins with a Max Potion. A Bay Leaf. Pseudo Wudo. Gibble. Sea Dot. Chikorita. Corsola. Furfru. Reverse Hollow is another rare. It is a Shiftery. Very nice. So we, we will end with two rares in a pack. And the... Oh, yes! We end with the Ho-Oh EX Full Art. Oh my gosh. So no scissors, but that is okay. Let me go ahead and gather everything up. This box has been incredible. And, you know, between this, Max's box, and our breakthrough boxes, it's becoming clear to me that they do not consider the break cards to be foil. I mean, there's no way. So we managed, yet again, three foils in this half. Dragalge, Garchomp, Meganium, which I love this Meganium card. Again, like the other half, we managed one break card. This time it was Trevenant Break. Very nice. And like part one, we managed one regular, or no, sorry, I'm mistaken. We managed two regular EXs with Embor EX and this very, very cool Darkrai EX. And to top it all off, one thing I didn't expect considering we pulled a full art or two in part one is this beautiful Ho-Oh EX. So guys, I could not be happier with my pulls. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. Be sure to uh, leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of my box. Compare it to Max's box if you feel inclined to. Let us know how your boxes have been, and we will see you next time.